This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the HTC Eris, or the Droid Eris by HTC, as Verizon calls it, because it's part of their new Droid Android phone line. It's a lot like the HTC Touch Windows mobile phone, for those who remember that. It has a soft touch finish and a very curved kind of Zen stone design. You see, it's quite thin. The volume control buttons are over here. 3.5 millimeter headset jack is up top, stereo. Here's the back, soft touch finish again. To get to the battery underneath, you pry it off. There's no sliding motion. 5 megapixel camera lens here. It's the speaker grill. It's a mono speaker. Nothing going on on the other side. And here we have HTC's usual EXT USB connector. On the front we have hardware call send and end buttons and HTC is really excellent trackball for navigating around. These are touch sensitive buttons here, they're electrostatic, they're not mechanical and they don't move. When you touch them there's haptic feedback, you do have to make sure to get your whole finger pad on there to actuate the button. Not so great if you're in a hurry running down the street or trying to make a call while you're driving, but they work pretty decently. Those control home, the Android menu button, back, and search, which are pretty standard buttons for Android. Let's take a look at the Eris to its big brother. Here's the Mono Droid on Verizon. As you can see, it, Eris is considerably smaller. It's a lot lighter also. In terms of thickness, of course the Droid is remarkably thin for something that has a slide-out QWERTY keyboard, but this is still thinner. More pocketable form. Let's take a look at it compared to the MyTouch 3G, which has a very similar form factor to Sprint's version of the Hero. See, they're about the same size and they're both very comfy in the hand, but this guy is all plastic and so a little slippery. This feels a lot nicer with the soft touch finish and a little bit more high class looking at that. I'll also compare it to the Imagio. Verizon's flagship Windows Mobile non QWERTY phone right now. This is an even bigger 3.8 inch display and a TV tuner built in. Also runs HTC's TouchFlow 3D UI, just like this one runs HTC's Sense UI. This also has not quite as soft a soft touch finish, but and then the hard plastic for contrast. So this runs HTC Sense UI, just like the Hero. The, the interface is nearly identical. You've got the big analog clock over here with the weather information, and this is using the GPS to pick up the weather. It automatically changes as you move from place to place with the phone. And you've got the extended home screen. Standard Android has three screens, and you can swipe to that many screens. And there are a couple of alternate home screen layouts too. If you want to add something here, you just tap and hold, and you can choose a fork, shortcut, an HTC widget, an Android widget, or put a shortcut to a folder here. It's as easy as that. So let's pick a HTC widget. We'll pick HTC footprints. We'll go back here. So you can have mail widgets, you can have, this is a quick quick photo caller ID interface over here, messaging widgets, all sorts of things are available. They've also customized the bottom here, and you've got, just tap on that to get to all of your programs. That's kind of standard interface for all Android phones. Once you've opened that up, and you tap there again to hide it. We'll take a look at a couple of other HTC add-ons here that come with HTC Sense UI. Those of you who've used Windows Mobile and TouchFlow 3D, also developed by HTC, will recognize some of these. There's a stock application here, and you can add a stock by hitting the plus and then typing in your symbol. And we've got HTC's weather, which has got to be the prettiest weather there is. And current location is taken from your GPS, and then you can swipe through other cities. You can have several cities here in your list. And it gives you a little five day forecast at the bottom. Now we'll take a look at the YouTube player, which is provided by Google. 
offers standard and high quality modes. Let's pick something random. This is currently playing in standard quality. You can also choose high quality. And we're playing over Wi-Fi right now. It looks really great. Fills the entire screen. It's colorful. There's no artifacting. And the sound is clear. Now I'm playing this over Ryzen DVDO connection with a pretty good signal, about 73 decibels. Audio and video are not always in sync, and there's some occasional blockiness, so your connection speed will affect the quality, but overall it's quite good. Next we're going to take a look at the on-screen keyboard. Go into the messaging application, and as you can see you have the, lens, the uh, portrait keyboard here. Turn it like that and you can get a bigger landscape keyboard. Now this one's pretty easy to use. There's haptic feedback for the keyboard, and for the keyboard only on screen and you can turn on key clicks if you want also and we like HTC's customization you can press and hold the T key for example to get a 5 instead so you don't have to keep switching between keyboard modes and you can text input options here including turning prediction on and off and spelling correction word completion the phone supports visual voicemail on Verizon it doesn't have any of the VCAST services on this. There's no VCAST music, there's no VCAST video, and as we mentioned, there is no VZ Navigator, so it's a little weaker on multimedia than the Hero on Sprint. Here's the WebKit-based web browser that comes standard with Android. It's a very bright, sharp screen, so web pages look absolutely great. You can see scrolling is very fluid and very quick, and it loads our desktop page properly. Those of you who are curious, here's the same thing on the Motorola Droid, which has a much higher resolution. This is your standard Android 320 by 480 half VGA display here. And the Droid has a 3.7 inch 480 by 854 pixel display that's pretty huge, so obviously you're going to see a lot more on screen here, but the text is going to be smaller too. It, it's such a sharp display, it's readable if you have really good eyes, but you're probably going to have to zoom in. So that's the Droid Eris by HTC on Verizon. It currently sells for $99 with a two-year contract. It competes with, obviously, the Sprint HTC Hero, and it lacks a few features the Hero has, like all of the multimedia services that are available on Sprint, like Sprint TV. There is no VCast service on this. But nonetheless, it's a nice phone. It's very powerful. Yeah, it's very slim and very ergonomic. If you don't want something as big and computer-like as the Droid, it's definitely a good alternative and a hot smartphone for the end of 2009. This is Lisa again from Mobile Tech Review. Visit our website to read the full review.